Maureen Dowd uh, wrote an op-ed accusing President Biden of callously, uh, I don't know what that says. <laughs> what does that say? Woo, more proof that America is such a racist, sexist country that you can be an illiterate black woman and still get paid millions of dollars to <laughs> unsuccessfully read cue cards. <laughs> what a terrible country. So Maureen Dowd is saying it's bad for the child that the president has not acknowledged her. So I, I kind of think, well, that's a, she should be fetching at the son, whose baby it is. You, it's not the president's baby. So I don't know what you think, but I'm throwing it out. I this. agree. But look, what is, what is absolutely evident to me is that the right wing and the MAGA world has decided to weaponize Hunter Biden against yeah. his dad. Yeah. Oh, New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd, <laughs> maybe the most prominent left wing journalist in America, is now ultra MAGA. <laughs> Of course. Of course she is. Because if you ever criticize Joe Biden, you are ultra mega. Unnecessary. This is not anybody's business. Nobody needed to know about this. No. This is private. Maureen Dowd should find something else to write about. Yeah, so they write about so. something else. I mean, they, it's because the right wing, who again is weaponizing everything related to Hunter, keeps asking, so how many children do you have, Mr. No, it's grandchildren do you have? He's how written. many? Of course, the story is Republicans pounce. Of course, that's the story. The story can't be a Democrat does something bad. No, the story's evil Republicans attack. Because this is not Joe Biden's baby, and I think it's very hard for Joe Biden to be a grandfather to the child if his son is not being a father. He can talk to his child. He can advise Hunter. Or maybe it's that Joe Biden's too scared to criticize Hunter because he knows where all the money's hidden.